Joining us now for his reaction, Mizuho analyst Dan Dolev. He has an underperform rating on the stock with a $30 price target. Dan, your initial take on the results we've gotten so far and whether it would potentially move the needle for you in terms of how you see the stock. Yeah, if I look at the composite, thanks for having me on the show. Look, if I look at the composition of the, of the results, like what are the key things I'm looking at? I'm looking at the take rate, which is kind of the yield. It continues to come down. I'm looking at sort of what's driving the beat. It's mostly interest income. So they had about 80 million of incremental interest income actually adding to, to the fourth quarter beat. And I'm looking at kind of the overall message on profitability. They want to be, you know, better or, you know, improve in absolute dollars in 2023 versus 2022, but they're not promising anything, right? So it's kind of like a, I would say like, it, it's a, I call it empty calories beat in terms of like what it is. Interest income is non-core to this business mm. and retail investors are uninvolved. And I think that's basically what's happening here. So I don't think it's much to kind of uh, write home about. But Dan, I mean, given that the end of the year of 2022 was so bad for crypto overall, and it's been pretty good the first month and a half. I mean, if we're thinking about how monthly transacting users say and trading volume is going to look for them, even in the current quarter, even if things get a little choppy from here, um, might, might there not be upside to Coinbase, at least in the near term? I think the I actually expect this rally here to to, to or the, the initial reaction to fade. You're already seeing that fading. I think that the first few months where I, I agree with you that they were um, I, there's no other words for it word for it but nuts. But and and I, I do think that the, I, I am I'm extremely bearish not just on on Coinbase but on the overall category. And I think that as, as money becomes tighter and as people realize that they have to you know pay higher mortgages and and have less money to spend and now you know they might be getting laid off. I don't think they'll play crypto. And if they're not going to play crypto, and this is pretty much, you know, the, the main way that Coinbase is, is monetizing it, and yeah. all their other stuff, a lot of their other stuff is, is under scrutiny. I don't see great things in 2023 for them. Uh, I mean, not at all. All right. Ten seconds or less. What's more profitable, retail investors or institutional investors for Coinbase? Uh, it's, it's 100 percent retail. Right? Okay. Institutional is basically a one basis point versus 130 basis points. All right. Not even comparable. All right, that puts it in perspective. Dan Dolev, thanks for joining us.